Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Crossroad Classics. We are back here today, uh, going to be doing some work to our 86 square body here. Uh, remember last year we got this truck, did some work to it. Um, got it last, uh, last spring and we uh, did some work to it, got it ready to cruise within the summertime. I think maybe like, uh, I think maybe like late June we got it ready. So uh, we had a good time with this truck last year. Uh, drew a lot of attention, and um, oh, here comes Blake. Uh, the truck drew a lot of attention, and uh, we took it a lot of places. Had a lot of fun with it. I will say one thing: it's not uh, not very uh, efficient to drive around there. Just about uh, I don't know, eight mile a gallon, maybe so, pushing and, that. Yeah, maybe. So uh, I do know a lot of places that we went with it. Um, we would get there on a tank of fuel and come back on a tank of fuel. So, uh, not the most efficient truck for commuting. But one of the most notable changes here is the uh, addition of tinted windows. We got them done this year, uh, back in the fall. I'm sorry. We get these done this year back in the winter here around, uh, I think it was January. I had a gentleman come out, um, did uh, I think five or six of our cars for us. So I want to give a shout out to Beck's Blackout in St. Clairsville, Ohio. He come out, use our use our shop, did the tent, did a real nice job and everything. So uh, thank you, uh, Beck's Blackout. So what we're doing here, guys, um, if you can see, we have a few boxes of goodies in the back of the truck. But uh, but this video we're going to do, guys, we're going to do a review on these um, USA One products, USA One Industries. Uh, from what I've seen, what I've heard, what I've read, they are the best as far as quality goes. But uh, for the long lead time on the stuff, um, yeah, man, they ain't kidding. You know, it's been uh, what almost nine months since I ordered that dash, and still not here. But their quality is supposed to be second to none. So we're gonna find out. So we're gonna we're gonna do the door panels first, and we're gonna do just a quick review and uh, see if they're worth the wait. I have yet to open these up. They're still still. I hope they're the right color. And uh, seat covers in the back, and then I have a mine seat frame to the seat frame. I'm not sure how this happened, but the seat frame got rusted so bad there's just chunks missing. And uh, I ended up rebuilding this. We got this um, on the old parker place. New, uh, new wiring here in the bottom. So we're going to do that here too. So uh, let's get going, guys. So, guys, my trusty assistant Blake, he got the box opened up, and uh, this is a complete door panel set. Pretty exciting. All new trim. Here's uh, all the, the trim for the grab handles. New grab handles here. New uh, door handle bezels, bezels for the door grabs, more stuff here, all kinds of good stuff. So, put it out and out. There's a door panels here. They look real nice. These are supposed to be the best in the business. Everybody I talk to. Um, says that I did tons of research. Um, other companies don't even make the uh, the higher end trim for the Sierra Classics and the Silver Otters with the uh, cloth inserts. And this has cloth in it. You know, new armrests. Uh, these things are these things are beautiful. I tell you what, new door trim, new bezels for the. Uh, for the door locks, yeah, these are uh, these are nice guys. These are real nice. New map pockets. They were pricey. I think when I ordered these, they were uh, six hundred bucks. I think for the pair. But but looking at them, they uh, they look great. And uh, when you order them, you order them with uh, you know for power locks. Yeah. I see a problem here. I wonder for power windows, but uh, they never asked crew cab or standard cab. 
So that shouldn't be a problem. We can just uh, elongate that hole with uh, one of our trusty tools. So where you get the uh, old and off. All right, guys. So the one thing we noticed here, um, the the color and the texture of the material from the new ones to the old ones is a little bit different. And I really wouldn't even care, but with our back doors, you know, if you see the back door here, you know, the back and the front match. And um, if we put the new door panel on, Yeah, there's a difference difference in color here you can you can see now the the, the plastic match is perfect uh, i got the die from usa one the, the the plastic is spot on but i think what we're going to try to do if we can we're going to try and um, swap out this fabric with that one and put that original fabric back in um just so it it has you know the match now the, and these are obviously for a uh regular cab so it, it wouldn't even matter but for the crew cab or suburban you know if um if you're that particular you know i would recommend swapping them out all right guys so we got our passenger side door panel off and you can see here the color the color of these is right on i'm not sure how it's shown on the, on the video but uh the color is absolutely perfect the texture the grain is real nice the contours of everything is real nice um yeah the only complaint i had was the the fabric and, and and this this fabric you know like blake could point out this is probably faded and that's that's fine um and the texture from with the the yeah the texture of it here it feels about the same this is maybe a little bit more work because it's you know it's 30 some years old um so i can't even complain about that but we're going to swap them out just so they match um god bless you thank you and the one complaint I do have that I noticed when I took the old one off compared to the new one is the way the trim goes on. Um, I'm going to all dirty here, my dusty things. Um, this trim is riveted on, or the other one uses the clips. I don't know yet how this is going to fit in that door because these clips hold the top of the door panel in place. Um, I'm hoping that we don't have an issue with that. I don't know if we will or not, but we're going to find out. Um, so we're going to try that out here and uh, see. We'll let you know how it fits. We're going to get these, we're going to get these, these uh, inserts swapped out here first. All right, guys. So we have uh, got these turned over here. I noticed something. I was taking this insert out of the, uh, the original door panel. Um, these new ones don't have these Christmas tree tabs in them. Should be one here, one there. Um, you know, again, I don't think it matters, but uh, that was definitely probably a cost saving measure. Um, I don't think it's gonna uh, have an effect on how it fits, because you know, the door, you know, this thing's gonna go over top of it. It's gonna fit nice. You got uh, these screws here for the do door grab, it's gonna hold in this one screw here. The other side, um, you know, you get you get a good bit of fasteners, so it's probably not going to be an, an OEM fit, but we'll find out here. Uh, and it also doesn't have this little this little tray for that piece of little uh, probably like an anti squeak or an anti rattle strip. So we're going to get this insert out of here, get our window and door uh, switch hardware swapped out, and see how it fits. All right, guys, so we got the passenger side all done here, and all in all, I'm, I'm real happy with it. Um, it does fit nice, you know, these, the lack of some of these fasteners, they even, they didn't put this one in here. I don't know why they couldn't have put that one in, but um, that one's not there either. So all you have basically is the four screws on the bottom, uh, the two screws through here holding it, which I guess that would be kind of redundant having that one, but uh, OEM felt that it needed to be there. And then you get the two uh, screws through the pull strap. And this fits nice up in here too. But I think all in all, I think for what it is, I think it fits real nice. Um, you know, like I said, the, 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 the finish, the quality is real good. Um, the door 
pockets here real nice. The uh, switches went in real good. And yeah, they gave you new, new chrome bezels, new uh, pull straps, new thing, uh, new covers for that. And like I said the color, the color is right on. Uh, I'm glad I did this. This went in with no problem. You know the holes line up right on with the uh, with the new ones. And um, so I think we're gonna give us a, a thumbs up on this side, and we're gonna head to the other side and uh, do it. The other side's gonna be a little bit more involved because we have to cut out uh, for the uh, power windows you know, for that for the big master switch so we're gonna head over there now all right guys so we got our passenger side part and uh, I already I've already swapped out the uh, inserts yeah uh, the one thing I gotta do now is uh, elongate this hole to uh, accommodate the four gang power window switch so we're gonna lay this out and get this cut. Um, again, you know, this side's the same as the other. You know, the color matches real nice. You know, the trim trim's real nice. Um, I kind of really wish they would have put this this boss in here for this screw because you know this is the reproduction armrest and it has this little notch here for that. Maybe I'm being too particular, I don't know. But um, I really think that you're having that. Having that there really would have would have been nice, but maybe I'm being too critical. So we're gonna get this cut out and uh, get this fitted. All right, guys. So we got our uh, elongated hole lined up. This measurement from here to here is the same. So all they did from the factory was just make this hole longer. So I got it laid out and I got my uh, got my body saw here. So we're gonna give this. I got a fine tooth blade in here. Now we're gonna we're gonna test fit our switch now. Perfect. That's awesome. So take it back out and we're ready to install this all right guys so uh, we got this side all together this side went together just as well as the other side did you know we talked about the lack of uh, fastener here and these clips here and here but you can see I'm pulling on the door handle here and with the pull handle and um, it's pretty sturdy it's pretty stout I guess, so I guess leaving them out, you know, is, isn't so bad. I guess it keeps the cost down for tooling and everything. But uh, all in all, guys, I'm really happy with these. You know, um, these are probably the best available. Um, are they OEM quality? I think they're close to it. I don't think you could ever get anything better than OEM. But uh, I think uh, compared to uh, the other ones that are on the market, I've seen them and they just look bad. Uh, you know, this, you know, these USA One Industry ones, the fact that they have the inserts and these come complete, you know, other than your uh, window and door lock hardware if it's uh, available on it. <clears throat> so I think it's a really nice choice. Like I said, I think I got 600 bucks in these. I forget. Uh, it, it's been so long since I bought them, but uh, I think they're definitely worth it. I can't wait to see the dash pad when a dash pad comes in because that's. Uh, Going to be a pretty good project um you know this in here is pretty bad shape but i think i'm going to give these guys uh a real good rating on these door panels you know i uh really think that um you know they, they did their best in making a good product you know they're pricey but uh, if you want something good you're going to pay for it and uh, they these really complement the truck nice they look uh, real good, show real nice, fit real nice. You know, the couple negatives I had with it, I don't think really is going to uh, affect it any. So um, we'll give us a thumbs up, guys. And um, if you have any questions on these, feel free to ask. I do know there's, I'm sure there's still a lead time if you want to order them. Um, and I'm pretty sure that USA One is the only one that carries these. Uh, they manufacture and sell them. I don't think any other manufacturer um, carries them. 
but I could be wrong. But I went right to the manufacturer to get this, the seat cover, and the door, or um, this, the seat cover, and the dash pad. I figure you can't beat buying it from the people that make them. So anyway, guys, uh, that's it for this one on our door panel review. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching, like, and subscribing. Uh, don't forget to like and comment below. We'll catch you. Thanks. See ya.